Sure, sure, fun. No, what it is, what it do, what is happening? No, oh, my hooky, my cousins, you're back in the fight with your boy Reaper. Oh, represented Tito Gaming, and I'm back. I'm back with another gameplay commentary playing some Call of Duty World War II here on the map. Ah, ah. And I'm playing with the combat shotgun, man, as you can tell by the title there. You can get bodied with the shotty. And I'll go in in today's gameplay for I know. I kind of almost choked the flawless, I guess, but I go 30 and 1. And um, I've been having a lot of fun with this class setup that I'm using, Fido. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty World War 2 this holidays, man. I'm talking about a lot. I'm talking about an unhealthy amount of Call of Duty World War 2 this holidays, but it's holidays, man, so I don't really care. It's it's all good. It's the one time of year where um, I can actually just go fucking insane <laughs> in terms of hours played on Call of Duty. So I've just ticked up uh, three days and seven hours on this game, which uh, I guess is pretty average, but I think I was just, I was just under two and a half Sorry, I was just over two days uh, at the beginning of the holidays, so in, in, in the last week and a half, I've put in some major, major gaming sessions. Um, I remember I jumped into a 50 match uh, order for the Sten, and I completed 33 matches in one afternoon, late afternoon. I, I picked up the order at about 5 o'clock that night. Ooh, get sacked. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with the shotgun class fighter. I'll get to that in a second. But I picked up a 50 order, uh, 50 match order, um, and I got to 33 matches uh, in one day, late afternoon, and I played f till early hours in the morning. I think it was Christmas Eve, actually. I think it was Christmas Eve. So I've, I've streaked out here. I'm on a nice little streak. Um, and I used to not see the value in the expeditionary. Is that what it's called? The expeditionary uh, division, the shotgun one with the fire shotgun shells. Until I leveled it all the way up, man, and now I can resupply my bouncing beddies. Um, using your equipment faster and being able to throw it farther, I didn't see the value in it. I mean, I, I remember Fast Hands on Black Ops 2 was a really nice perk. It allows you to use your tactical and your lethal equipment a lot quicker. Um, and it came in handy, man. But back in those days, back in those cold days, you were allowed two tacticals as well as a lethal piece of equipment. So because you could use more stuff uh, with the fast hands, it was a little bit more valuable. And oh, there go the S mines. I've got a few S mines uh, beddies now uh, up and out. Uh, alive in the map. Um... But yeah, like, you used to get two tacticals, and there I am on the Ruthless. You used to get two tacticals and two lethals. Uh, so fast hands was quite valuable because you had more stuff to actually work with. Unless you're running expeditionary in this game, you only get one uh, lethal or one tactical. So being able to throw it a little bit faster, uh, one tactical and one lethal, makes it a little bit less value. But when I finally leveled it all the way up to level 4, um, and now I can resupply my lethal equipment. Oh, damn, man. This class is so dangerous. So on the actual combat shotgun itself, this is post-patch gameplay. So it received a massive range buff. Uh, it reminds me of the Argus from Black Ops 3, if you remember how freaking annoying that gun was. Ooh, and I sneak a glide bomb in there through the gap. Um... I'm using quick draw grip and rapid fire. Rapid fire because I just want to get that shot out as much, uh, you know, as, as, as fast as I can. If I have to follow up, if I get a hit marker and I have to follow up, I'm following up as fast as the game will allow. So, I mean, every now and then I do have to take two shots. Especially considering how inconsistent the one shot kill uh, is. Oh, and there goes the relentless. Chur bouncing Betty. Oh, and someone's behind me. Where he at? Where he at, though? Where's he gone? Bam! <laughs> it is so funny. It is so satisfying getting those uh, getting those one-shot kills. So obviously, I'm running with the concussion grenade. So if you know someone's running away from me, I can hit him with the con with the concussion grenade and catch up to him. Um, and of course, the beddies here. Uh, I'm using hustled uh, as my basic training perk, but. 
I think you can run it without hustle, to be honest. I'm going to try something else. I think I'm going to try maybe uh, Hunker or something like that once I have that unlocked. I'm unlocking all my divisions, man. Sorry, I'm prestiging them all. This and armored is all I have to go um, to to get prestige to unlock the V2 rocket, man, because I jumped into a few lobbies after Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way, Fano. Jumped into a few lobbies after Christmas, man, and I've been finding every other... There we go there, 24 and 1. Not so much a flawless uh, choke, but, you know, 24... 24 and 0 is quite close. I didn't expect to go on, on that kind of streak uh, here in this gameplay. Uh, but yeah, I want that V2 rocket, man, because I've been finding a lot of noobs. Ooh, and there's a double with the S mine. What? I've been finding a lot, of, uh, a lot of noobs in my lobbies, and I want to go for a V2 rocket, man. I've never been able to crack the big streak uh, in my Call of Duty career, which is actually quite disappointing. I've never been able to crack the Moab, the nuke, uh, the nuclear from uh, Black Ops 2, or the DNA bomb or anything like that. So yeah, anyway, Fano, there's the gameplay commentary. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, leave a sub if you want to see more and Ooh, your boy is out of here. Nice little quick little gameplay here. 30 and 1 with a combat shotgun. Don't forget to subscribe, man. Holla at your boy. Cho Cho Fano. Peace.